Today, we are going to be talking about something that is massively impactful and important to all the sales leaders out there, anyone involved in sales, and that is going to be the creative, creative conversion, conversion method. method. The reality is that there are certain things that you can do to get a 30 to 300% lift on what you're doing in your sales effort. And a big part of that is being creative. So in this video, we're gonna talk about research, we're gonna talk about writing, and of course, we're gonna talk about recording. So I'll start with a story. And this story goes back to a study that was done on class photos of graduating classes. And what's really interesting about this is that there was a direct correlation with the amount of creativity, how much fun people were having in their actual class photo, and how that actually correlated to how successful they were going to be. And the takeaway here is not that clowning equals converting. It's that being creative, having access to your inner child, and being vulnerable, in fact, can create the most connections and ultimately the most conversions. And that's what we're going to get into in the creative conversion method video. And that's going to light up your sales team. You're going to learn some insightful, impactful things that are going to not only increase your bottom line, but your team's bottom line as well. This is all about making connections that cause conversations, that cause conversions. And the very basis for this is creativity. And we're going to dive into that right now. So this is about you guys out there. Now, one of the things that I mentioned earlier was this idea of vulnerability. And you'll notice in some very successful people, they don't have a problem with being vulnerable, with being open, with actually connecting, with having some sort of a connection to their inner child. These are the people that start conversations, share stories, sometimes crack jokes, and generally make people laugh and smile. A lot of this comes from taking risks. And the reality is that the more of an adult we become, the less we want to take risks, potentially. The less we want to ruffle feathers, the less we want to be that inner child. So the first thing that we like to talk about is if you really want to make connections with people in sales, it's really important to maintain a certain amount of vulnerability, have a fun, joyous, loving spirit, so that other people want to play with you in the sandbox. So one of the first important parts of breaking this whole creative creativity thing down is really about mindset. Mm. It really is. That's where it starts because it starts in the mind and then it goes forward. Now, one of the big points with mindset that I feel is absolutely paramount is you don't want to have limiting beliefs. Mm. You don't want to put limits on who you are. Why yeah. would you do that? You're stunting your growth. There's a lot of reasons for things like that. We have trauma. It could be physical appearance, things people have said about you. Anything that is stuck in your mind, like the book, The Four Agreements, you've made that agreement with yourself, sadly, and it's limited. Release yourself from that. How many times have people heard, hey, you're not very good on video. You're not very good on the phone. Hey, you're not very creative. Yeah. Well, you got to take all that, throw it right in the trash can. You are creative. You are good enough to do these sorts of things. You just have to open your mind. And yeah. that's why mindset is so important. In fact, you talk about all the time leaning into your vibe. Once we make an agreement of something that we're not good at, our mind actually agrees with that. Neurologically, it becomes true. There's an old saying, the neurons that fire together, wire together. So be cautious of making an agreement that's not true because chances are you are good on video, you are creative, and you're a great storyteller. You just need practice. As a sales leader, telling this to your team, reminding them of this, getting them invigorated, mm. and having that basis of realizing that cre creativity is the fire that starts this whole thing for everybody. Imagine that shift in mindset for yourself as a sales leader. It's going to be absolutely just invigorating to start at that basis and that kind of mindset. You knew somewhere inside yourself that you were destined to be famous because I think it's a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Huh? And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. This is all Napoleon Hill. It's not about faking it until you make it. It's about having a mindset of abundance, knowing that everything is already out there. You just have to access it. And it's about getting rid of those shadow beliefs, as you like to call them, and having that belief. So as a sales leader with your team, you believe in your sales team. You believe in their creativity. You believe in their vulnerability. And you believe in the fact that when they root themselves in those things, the results will come. One of the things that we hear about a lot is the amount of turnover that's in the sales industry. It's usually usually because of a bad product, a bad boss, or a bad economy. Now, very few times will someone say, hey, it's my fault. Usually, they will pass the buck. But the fact of the matter is that most people quit because of a bad boss. And a bad boss simply means someone that's making them feel uncomfortable about a situation or themselves. The key here is a sales leader caring about the struggle that they're going through, not giving them a hard time about not missing their sales quota, actually asking, how is everything going? How is your personal life? How is family life? How are things at home? After all, they don't care how much we know unless they know how much we care. Remember, sales is not a numbers game. 
It's a human to human connection. That's what it's all about. One of the biggest inhibitors of creativity in sales is unfortunately the CRM. CRM systems are supposed to be the customer relationship management system, but a lot of the times they become the sales or fun destruction machine. And the reason why that's the case is because CRMs are often viewed as a micromanagement tool, a way so that upper management can manage what the sales team is doing. Now that is a real phenomenon. I think the reason why all of this exists is because CRM systems are not developed so that we can communicate creatively. The way that they're created is so that we can manage data. When we look at sales about creating connections, we think about things like video because video is what allows us to connect, to share stories, and to make connections that ultimately turn into conversions. The video is the bridge, the emotional bridge. And if you have something that clicks with the other guy, you're going to win a meeting. That's when you can show your creativity and your research and all the things that you have that you feel like you'll have in common. But people try to establish rapport. I learned from Wyatt Wood Small, beyond rapport are shared values. And if you have shared values, it goes way, way deeper. Here at Dub, what we have built is the sales operating system. And the reason why it's powerful is because it's so easy to record a video, to share it with a prospect, to understand what they're doing with your content, and then eventually to automate it. So if you have some time, we encourage you to check out the Dub sales operating system. Now that we've gotten the creative aspects built in there, planning is one of the most important steps you're going to have to get down as obviously the sales leader and for your team as well. The way that we like to look at planning is to understand who it is that we're actually trying to connect with, who is our ideal ideal client profile. What is it that they want to hear from us? What is it that they want to receive? Our strategy is always a content first strategy, which means chances are we're doing research, we're writing, and we're recording videos. Once we have our content, it brings us to life. We can plan out our email campaigns. We can plan out how we're going to do one-to-one -one communication and eventually how to build automated smart sequences. And speaking of smart, cold calls, they don't work. Smart calls and smart communication do. Smart communication is driven by data, which is driven and set up through the emails and SMS and the drips that we do, the trust sequences we initiate. You probably know them as drip sequences. We call them trust because trust in sales is monumentally important. All of the things that have gone in on the back end of creating what we have here in Dub has been driven by creativity. And that creativity comes out in the sales operating system, out to your prospects and your clients and your sales team. Do you see the connection here? Once you have that basis, it filters into everything. So what you're saying is that creative is the new conversion. That's exactly what it is. Got it. One of the clips coming up now is super exciting. It's one of our favorite shows of all time, Mad Men. So what's great about this clip is that they're about to lose a client and Don Draper comes in and he basically saves the day. He comes in and he shares his best possible story about how Kodak can market their carousel. This is their slide projector wheel. So there's a couple of takeaways here that are so poignant for me about this clip. Number one is that Don Draper made this completely emotional, right? This went to the heartstrings. He did his research. He understood really what the buyer of this product, what they're ultimately after, which is to get a time machine, to go back to another time to see memories, sometimes painful, sometimes joyous, the word nostalgia he uses, and the emotionality is so powerful. And the other thing that is so compelling is that he's so vulnerable in this. You know, you see him getting teary eyed about his kids, about his wife, his marriage, and ultimately what that does, that vulnerability, that innocence of the inner child, it ultimately connects people. And as a sales leader, how to use your vulnerability in a way that allows you to connect with people always in a benevolent way. And this scene, by definition, is an absolute top line example of leading with value. Mm. And the reason this connects with Dub is that when you send a dub video, you are essentially sending an emotional message. Mm. By now, you're probably asking yourself, how can I get creative in my sales communication? How can I use creativity and vulnerability to ultimately make connections and to get conversions? Well, the answer is really simple. It first starts with a mindset. But before I get into this, I wanted to invite you to subscribe to this channel. This is Rev Show by Dub, and we put our hearts and souls into this show to give education and entertainment in bite-sized content. Content, and we do it several times a week. So consider subscribing, clicking the notification bell, and put the word yes in the comments if you're feeling our vibe. At Dub, we are all about communicating with video. In fact, that's what our system does that I can give you right now for improving your sales communication are the following. Number one is to get the free Dub Chrome extension and record a personalized video when you're on a person's LinkedIn page or their website. Show them that you've done your research. Show them that you know how many people work on their team or the specific industry that they work for, 
or past social media posts, webinars that they've hosted, or even press releases. By showing them that you've done your research in a video format, it's going to build trust. And it's gonna say, hey, this person put in the time to understand who I am. I should give them some respect and give them some time. We've seen thousands of people use this method and it works. And the second idea is to replace cold prospecting with a video email newsletter. The reason why this is so powerful is because it combines sales and marketing. It gets your brand message out there. It gets a social shareable video that educates people on your product or service, but it also gets people to respond. Instead of burning bridges and wasting time on cold emails, consider sending a video email newsletter with an educational and entertaining video, just like this one. Talk about a story that they can connect with. In other words, if you're reaching out to a company that has a product or a service, and you have a story from your life. My father was a smoker growing up. It was like dodging the cloud in the living room when I was walking by. And it was very upsetting. And it really gave me motivation in terms of like, wow, I don't ever want to do that. So if your product or service really helps with that, guess what? Sending videos with the service you have will only enhance the outcome that we're both invested in. When you connect with someone, it's about investing in a similar outcome and understanding that journey together. When you send an asynchronous video to a prospect, connect with them on a story sharing level. Storytelling requires a lot of things, vulnerability, empathy, and most importantly, the desire to make an impact on someone. The hero of this story is not you. The hero of this story is the person on the other side of the line. It's that person that you don't wanna close, it's the person you wanna open a relationship with. And that is the creative conversion method. The creative conversion method is all about combining all these super important things that are rooted in creativity, that are rooted in empathy, that are rooted in connection. Yourself as a sales leader, if yourself and your team don't believe in those things, what do you believe in? Oh, wait, Rob, I believe in our product or service. You do? Then they should be rooted in those things, lead with value, let asynchronous video in our sales operating system from Dub show you the way. If you are interested in learning more about Dub, visit dub.com and see how the power of video can build more connections that you can imagine. And we all know what connections are, they mean more conversions. See you at the next video. That's my favorite. He just cries and he leaves. And the director did such a good job to get the silhouette on the screen. It was it's what a classic scene.